Good evening. I'm Jean Finstein, and uh, today is August the 21st, 2024, and this is our tour of 20, no, 12, 25, 11, 25. 11, 20. 11, thank you. 11, 25, 11, 27 Main Street, which most of us know more recently as Ben Schneider's photography studio. Um, let me give you a little bit of the history of the building, and then we'll find out something about what the plans are. It looks like the building was built in the 1880s by a man named Frederick Unruh, U-N-R-U-H. He was the son of German immigrants, came to England in 1851, and initially worked as a baker and a confectioner, later as a deputy chef sheriff and the city collector for some 40 years. I'm not sure what the city collector is, but it sounds like a common thing, I suppose. Now, although he owned the building, it doesn't look like he had anything, any business in the building itself. Um, and by 1888, L.S. Good was in here, uh, or at least that's what city directories say. Later on, there was Daniel Abercrombie and Company, and later Amber Crombie Brothers, wholesale and retail millinery from about 1903 to 1912. And we can date the building in part based on the Sanborn maps, Sanborn insurance maps. And those maps were done by a company that prepared such maps so that fire insurance rates could be determined. And so the maps will tell the number of stories, and the color coding tells whether it was a brick structure or a frame structure. And so we can see that in 1884, it did not look as the same footprint as it did in 1902. So definitely the building was built somewhere in between. And I'll lay these here for you to look at later. CA House was located here for a while uh, just as a storeroom, you know, where they had pianos and other musical instruments. My favorite is this. By the time of the 1921-22 city directory, there was a very enterprising man by the name of Bruno Finkhol, H-O-E-H-L. He had the Bruno Manufacturing Company at this address, and he sold malt, hops, and bottler supplies by 1923-24. Now keep in mind that's in the middle of prohibition. So um, I would say he was rather enterprising. <clears throat> Around the same time, E.M. Cotton Company House Furnishings is also listed at this street address, operated by Edward M. Cotton, William L. Cotton, and Thomas Y. Cotton. And they were in this building for decades. And when we go upstairs, you'll see on the risers of the stairs the word cotton, as we know that was the business that was here. Um, later, this became Riker's Furniture Warehouse. And then, most recently, as I mentioned before, Ben Schneider had his photography studio on the first floor. And you'll see when we go upstairs that the second and third floors look pretty much like an old warehouse. Um, and it'll be exciting to see something change up there, and we'll hear about that in just a minute. Now, when I came here to look in advance of our tour, I ran across this brochure, <coughs> and it talks about a walking tour of downtown Wheeling. This was a walking tour that Friends of Wheeling did decades ago. It is no longer accurate because many of the buildings are now gone. But we happen to have bunches of old copies of this. And so they're here. Please help yourselves. I don't want to take any of them home again. <coughs> Just keep in mind that some of the buildings aren't here anymore. And also what was found here were a lot of the photographs that Ben Schneider had taken and for whatever reason left behind. And the current owner says if you know anybody, if you recognize anyone, feel free to take those and give them uh, to the people. One other commercial message before we move ahead is that Saturday is the Wings Over Wheeling Air Show at the Ohio County Airport. And here is a flyer on that. It's free. 
three is from 10 to 5, and there'll be all kinds of, I think there's air-related, flight-related activities that are there. So I'll leave that brochure here so that you can see it. Now, this is Tony DiCarlo. Tony is the current owner of this building, and she will tell you a little bit about what her plans are, and then we'll walk through. Well, um, I'm going to try to take this uh, one phase at a time, and it's going to break up into about three phases. So currently, we're starting on phase one, which we're going to work on the complete facade and the stability of the building, making sure, you know, that um, it will be able to accommodate something more on the upper two floors. But it is pretty solid here on the, on the first floor, which I will use for retail. Currently, I, I um, was going to be moving, since my lease is up down here, after the facade is done, I'm going to be moving my pizza shop in here. And I'm, I'm hoping it to be a permanent um, move. But um, if financially, it just all depends with, with the bank because of my new building project over here. So, you know, it just all, all depends on what's going to happen here in the future. But I, I kind of have a rendering of like how we want to do the windows. I, I'll pass this around. And, and this is like the, the facade design of, of what the building will look like. So I'll definitely have the first floor here for retail. And then what we're hoping to do is, because I don't want to get into the expense of an elevator and, and all that, um, we decided that we're going to put two luxury apartments in this, the second and third floors, which even though it, there won't be an elevator, we think that they'll still be marketable because they, well, once you see the, the upstairs, the, the high ceilings, the, you know, I mean, it, it'll be breathtaking. It, it'll be really worth it somebody wanting to come and, and live there, I would think. And, and it's a, what? Oh yeah, a possible rooftop deck. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're trying to be creative with a lot of different things, but like I said, one phase at a time. So, but we're, we're all excited about it. Yes? The newspaper made it out like you weren't aware that people could pay for it ahead of time. And that's why you put more into it. With the apartments in it. Pay for what? Yeah. 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 Um, with the new building? Yeah, the newspaper made it out like, you know, you you learned that you could charge ahead for something not being built. Well, yeah. I, I was trying to pre-sell the apartments, but um, that, that kind of, uh, I, I had to put a stop to that because they, they were selling them for way too low. If I would have kept those prices to be what they were originally being sold for, I would have been, I, I probably would have bankrupted myself, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And um, the city of Wheeling came to my aid, especially the, the fire department, God bless Derek. He, he's an angel. He came to my office one day and he goes, Tony, guess what? I go, what? He goes, you can actually go floor higher. I go, you're kidding me, without having to, you know, do anything special with the, uh, the elevator or the, the, the framing of the building. And everything, so I'm all excited. So then we added the fifth floor, which saved me, or else um, the, the project may not have moved forward. I mean, it took me over two years to, to get the financing. I do have four condos sold, but I have um, three more available. Actually, four. I have four more available. I have like I, I have the, the first floor sold, and um, I have one on the fourth floor sold and one on the first floor sold. So, yeah, so then I have four more condos to sell. Okay, and that will be, let's, I'm, I'm not sure that the, um, Focus. Uh, yeah, that, that Facebook can pick that up, so let's hold questions sure. for later, if you don't mind. Um, but that, of course, is the new build, which is next door, right. and not this building. So let's go ahead and tour this building, and then you can ask questions when you're okay. finished, if that's all right with you. Okay. All right, so let's go upstairs, and there, as she said, there's no elevator, there's only stairs. Uh, we may want to look at the, in the back here first. Yeah, so where's the kitchen going to be for your pizza? We'll, we'll see right. back there. Okay. Yeah. okay, so let's walk back here, and then we'll go upstairs. I did.
pizza here and then we'll serve it out. And then, um, I forget now because there's a shirt. We have the, um, the stre the, our stretching table for the, the, the racks and then as you move down there's a sink. We're going to have a wall here, like approximately where Susan is. The tape, we changed where all the tape is. The, the only thing that's actually born where the tape is is the wall here. That, that's the only uh, correct taping of the floor. Everything else we have the design on the table there is how we mapped out what the pizza shops are going to look like. But this, you know, it's the kitchen, the oven, and, and you, you all be served. Yeah, so. so it's takeout only, is that? Yeah. It's going to be for pretty much, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still working to see how we want to design the actual front mm -hmm. and how we're going to utilize that space. And then I'm also wanting to do an, an outdoor courtyard. Over along this side. Part of the so, space here compared to your current. No, it's way small. Way small. Yeah. Way small. I, I have 3,500 square feet where I am now. I, I have had seating capacity for 75. Uh, <coughs> yeah. 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 That made it work. But I, I made a deal with the city. I have a parking on the side here. So that'll help. The tent space is there. So. Okay, let's go upstairs. Yep. Those grandchild? I'm his daughter. Daughter, okay. I I'm just his curious. baby. I remember meeting him down there. Yeah. I'm the shop the that we <laughs> Tom does yeah. off. Yeah. Remember Tom? Um, there's ten years between Oh, this is the Galvin building. Oh, it is? Yeah. Uh, did anybody have a picture of the building? Yeah, uh, there's. They're both there. Um, yeah, that's close. Here, I'll show you. It's going to be the Galdo building oh, established nice. in 2024. Oh, congratulations. No, thank you. Oh, great. Oh, oh, we're you coming up. Up. Hey, you. I'm in a hurry, so I'm going to get to church. But oh, okay. okay. So I always want to go in here. This is good. He's like, oh, I need to go first. I said, I'm going to go in here. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you. Oh, Let's let her come down. I know. These projects are really oh, overwhelming. You ain't kidding. Yeah. Come on, Tim. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
or financially for that matter, because um, with how much is needed. You're going to repurpose that for some something? I don't know. Um, That's kind of neat. Yeah, well, um, oh, I agree. Andy uh, Hogan. No, no. Hogan? He's been taking all the signs. That's pretty neat. And, and he displays them out on his farm and everything. That's cool. He, he took a lot of them. I mean, I had more than that up here. And then we have a lot of the old doors. Yeah. Um, but we're... Not getting the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the windows. Yeah. I think it would be beautiful once it's done. What a view. What is you want to take advantage of the river for picture? I'm sorry? You want to take advantage of the river to take picture frames? You know, we, we have to keep the windows the same. Oh. Well, you're, not, you're, not allowed, you're not allowed to well, change the, the front or the back for historical reasons. And you all qualify for the tax credit. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I can't afford the tax credit. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> they arch. It's, they they clear it a pretty good bit out of it. They still have the old place. It's getting there. Going up to the third floor now. crowd on July the 4th. Yes, indeed. 
Now downstairs there's five of a furniture warehouse, it, uh, pianos, um, Can you imagine draperies. Furniture up and down those stairs, oh, I know. though. You or a think... piano? Oh, yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah. No, not a. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, this uh, was somebody's or... workbench, obviously. Right. Or... Yeah. Yeah. But draperies, I mean, maybe. Oh, maybe uh, drapery, you know. It's... Wiring system. Yeah, it's, it's quite. Uh... So, so, what business did you say was here in the last? Hundred years primarily. Um, furniture the warehouse Reichert and warehouse, and warehouse right. and then Ben Schneider's photography studio, but he only <coughs> used the first floor. Yeah, yeah you can just see that. Something cutting. And what were Amber, Amber probably involved with? Yes, the, but that I think was also mostly warehouse. It was home furnishings, those kinds of things. Yeah, yeah I, I have some. Uh, so I think the amber crombie envelope that I have from the early 1900s shows the front of the building. Oh, that would Shout be cool. If you want some, and I think I have some of the other and how it's in this building. Yeah, oh, yeah, that would be good. I can see this stuff. Is yeah, good. that would be great. I know I have amber crombie. Great, great, yeah. I don't know if it was the first, but there was LS Good here very early on. That would be great. Yeah, anything, anything like that that would show it. I'm sure she could use maybe you know frame things or whatever. Yeah. All right, I'll send you scans. Okay. I, I'm still working on your transcription. I've been out of town for most of the last couple of weeks or so. I was in Connecticut this past weekend. That's another reason why we're so show. Back almost to get out of Connecticut. It's like a daily reward. It was a nightmare, and he's like, Tony, this will cost you. He goes, who owns that property next door? I go, I do. He goes, where are you going looking at this? He goes, I can build you a building. I'm like, I can't afford a building like that. And he told me, he said, he goes, that's because you don't know how. He goes, he's a developer, he, that's what he does. He builds condos. He's like, I can, you know, I can score you on this and uh, you, you'll end up, by the time we get it built, you'll have a case for it. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. so, so two and a half years later, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you love, you love wheeling, right? Oh, I do love wheeling. <laughs> they just moved in the area from but Phoenix. Oh, okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wheeling is beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it's... 
<laughs> That's okay, Tony. We want to thank you very much. I think we have seen just about all we need to see for the um, for the Facebook page, and we certainly thank you and wish you the oh, best you. the best of luck in your endeavors. And we can't wait to come back and have an after tour. Okay, I'm looking forward to that also. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully sooner than later. Yeah, right. Okay, right. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. So we're going back down to the first floor again. And then we'll... Okay, so we'll be signing off for now. And um, I hope you can join us at the next tour. Joanne's usually behind the camera. And she will push the magic button. And we will...